Oh boy, what have I got myself into this time, eh boys? So, uh, I uh, quit the Z50 and I went ahead and traded it and the uh, little gas scooter that I made one video about for this yellow mini bike, that CT70, which I've always wanted, and this CT70 with a bunch of crap parts. <clears throat> so today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to learn how Hondas sexually reproduce. Very exciting stuff. So uh, first, um, in order for reproduction to happen, you have to uh, strip down. So, you know, just kind of kick it off really gets them in the mood. Look at it, it's all aroused. Boom, look at that. So he's all stripped down, ready to go. Now, uh, if you can't get it up, then the, uh, if you can't get it up, then, well, nothing's gonna happen, so you know. Sometimes you gotta give them a little bit of juice, a little bit of Viagra, if you know what I'm saying, and get them going. So uh, give her a quick little kick. Sounds excellent, doesn't it? Love to hear it. And look at my pretty face. Maybe it'll start. There you go. That's all you need. Just need a little boost, get her going. And uh, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is strip her of all strip them of all this crap because I don't want to fuck with trying to put or try to use that existing harness so I'm like you know what just use the harness you already got um if you if any y'all want this frame just let me know and I'll sell it to you um don't want much for it and my mom sees this she's gonna fucking kill me so um anywho so uh I guess next thing you gotta do is strip her of her parts that you need um I'm gonna probably first work on stuff that can get just you know wiring stuff like that because you don't got to do much destruction and the bike can still stand on its own like that boom wiring's almost pretty much off so yeah once I get the wiring stripped down I'll let y'all know All right. All right, so uh, I was taking off this back piece that goes on the drum brake, and uh, got a little bit of bad news. It doesn't fit exactly in that one, so I'm left with two options. I can either take the arm off that one, put on that one, or I can just grind this down. Uh, I'm gonna try to take it off this one first. Or I'm gonna try to take off that one first and put it on there and then grind this down, because obviously you can't undo grinding. So, um... Alrighty, so I got this guy off, and it turns out that this key part right there is uh, too big for those, so we're just gonna have to take that little piece and grind it down. So, um... I'll get... All right, boys, so I had to use the redneck lathe, also known as a grinding wheel, and uh, I just shaved her down, probably about an eighth of an inch. And uh, she fits in there now. Uh, fortunately, I have to charge my camera because it's better. Alrighty, so as you can see, here we go. It's not too snug, but come on. God damn it, there we go. It fits in there. So now we can get the washer and the brake cable connected up to this part right here so that maybe we can see the back uh, drum brakes are good. Pretty god there because I hate doing drum brakes. Alright, so we got the brake system for the rear wheel set up. It's just this brake lever right here. I gotta put a cotter pin through that. But yeah, works out pretty good. Um, this little lever here is a little C stuff, so you kind of work it back and forth to loosen her up. But other than that, it works pretty well. So, uh, Yep. So next I think I'm going to uh, either work on wiring or work on the engine, not sure. Um, probably do the, uh, the wiring first. Um, so I'm not sure if this thing has a charging system or not. I don't think it does, unfortunately. So I'll probably just have to stick a battery in and um, I'll keep that system independent. I'll just use that for um, lights and stuff like that. Um, not too big of a deal. A little bit of inconvenience, but that's not too bad. But I do think we might be able to drive this thing today. Just gotta grind out some more work. So I think next what we're gonna do is focus on the CT70 and uh, probably do throttle stuff. All right, so I got the uh, throttle on. As you can see, right there, moves pretty easily. Unlike the Z50, doesn't slide up and down. I hated when it did that, but uh, yeah, works pretty good. So I think next up is probably going to be stripping out the wiring in this, just the stuff we can't use, like the coil and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not gonna, be, not gonna be junking this stuff. This gonna be saving it. And where's the switch? There she is. There we go. Um, yeah, probably have to the shot backwards clean out a little bit. But just so this whole wiring, like that, uh, 
that coil in there. I don't know if you want to see that. Probably can't. Something hard to see. Coil's got to go. Um, I'll have to work on wiring up the taillights and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna rip that coil out and put in the other one we got because we know it works for a fact. Just want to eliminate variables on why this thing wouldn't work properly. Um, but yeah, looking so good, looking good so far. I wasn't expecting to make this much progress because usually I, I just keep getting, uh, you know, obstacle after obstacle. So far, it's going pretty well. Um, I'm probably gonna hit this inside with some paint just to make sure she doesn't rust out. Got some foam shut up here. Gross. Uh, got some more wires that are probably cut. Yeah. Uh, I've got another wiring harness for the lights and stuff, so that's not too big of a deal. I'll probably just yeah, just completely strip the wiring harness out. But right now, I'm gonna stick to bare minimum. Use the wiring harness um, just for um, getting the thing running and moving, and then we can worry about the details at a later time. I'm gonna give you all some extra shots. So I've got one the nuts off. I get this guy off. Be a little stubborn, but it's okay. But this looks like some sort of performance coil. Uh, not only just saying that because it's blue. Uh, those Honda coils are black. Uh, oh, there she goes. Whew, come on now. There we go. There we go. There's the coil. Ugh. I could throw a multimeter on this thing and probably test to see if it's any good. Because, I mean, if it is good, there's no reason to throw it away. But I'd probably repurpose it, put it back into the CT70 and make it a little bit more original. But uh, right now, I'm not killing myself over originality. More just, you know, I want to ride it, have some fun with it, and then, you know, get to the important stuff. So I think I'm going to bolt the coil in right here. I'm probably going to flip it around. Oops. I'm going to throw it in there. Like this. And then it'll still be tucked away and still look kind of stock, not very kind of. Um, and I can already use bolts that I have, so it'll be easy. So I'm um, get that. All right, so uh, now got the coil mounted up in there. I've also worked on wiring up the kill switch. Um, I actually also found the key thing for this just tucked inside here, which is good, so I can wire that up at some point. But um, yep, make sure this thing has just enough reach. Probably have to resolder this. It looks like someone just used like a fuse clamp or something. So it goes up here, back up in here, which is where all the other wiring is. So uh, yep, once I uh, get all the wiring finalized, I'll fire. Hey y'all, so uh, working on uh, the bike and uh, took this thing off, which is holds the uh, kickstand all that stuff. Pegs. Got to take off that foot pedal brake because it's not going to do good for me. But um, amazingly, I mean, it lines up perfectly. Um, so, I mean, there's not really much else, that, much else to say other than that, but lines up, bolts into these right here on the outside so we can still bolt the engine in. Um, it's just amazing how well all this stuff is fitting so far. I'm sure it'll come to an end soon, but yeah, I think next thing I'm going to do is strip off the engine and uh, go ahead and throw in this thing. So, uh, yeah, I need to check the oil on it I don't know if it has any. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll get back to y'all once I have the engine ripped out of this. All right, so the uh, the yellow bike has turned into a soulless pile of shit, and this engine is now out. Uh, I called Trevor to, uh, first off, help me get the damn thing up into the frame, and secondly to uh, uh, film, so that you can actually see me do stuff. But yeah, so now I'm just going to wait for him to show up. Got the rest of the wiring tidied up. Uh, uh, basic, this is basic wiring for now. Um, God damn it, what's that damn smudge? Right there. All right, so found that little little tab in there. Stuck the, uh, the whatever the hell that little box is, probably solenoid or something. That stuck that in there. Coils in there. Um, so yeah, wiring's pretty much done for the basics for now. Just need to plug a spark plug wire, which will fit. Um, and then there's an engine uh, wiring thing that I need to throw in there. But other than that, I mean, pretty much done. So. Uh, I'm gonna go grab the carburetor out of my car and uh, get that hooked up, and then yeah, we're pretty much golden. So we got Cleopatra, the dog, and Trevor installing the CT70 engine. We're almost wrapped up. Yeah. What? Knee socket? God damn it! Just take the whole cover off. It'll make everything easier. Well, no, there's a uh, gap so you can get to it. Wait, knee socket or a, uh, a wrench? Yeah. I'll get you a wrench. She has a 14 or 13. Here we go. Here, just hold it and I'll turn it. There you go. Okay. So yeah, we almost got the engine all bolted in. We know you got it. I got it. No, I'm just gonna. Okay. There's a this damn socket on the water. Okay. Did you yeah, through? Got the tip. Yeah, I see the tip. Okay, I'm just gonna do a, little, a few little twists. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Give it to me. Just grab it. You got it? You yeah. see it? I see, I see the tank. Just, just grab it. Just grab it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. it. Okay. I'm touching it. Do you hear that squeaking sound? I think it means the device is working. Do you need more room? No, I think we got it. Yeah. I'll have to go and dry anyway. Okay. Oh, hey, if you feel kind of hurt, tell me. Is that tight? Is that tight? Oh, that's tight. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna snug it up. Okay, it's tight. Here we go. Oh, that's not moving anyway. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Get that stuff on. <laughs> not going anywhere. Might need some more starting fluid. Well, I find your pop, so we're going to All right. So okay. now we should probably do something. Oh, it's awesome. Probably. Sorry. <laughs> probably. Or, or carburetor. Yeah. Here. Grab that. I didn't even take this thing apart. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, it just went black. It just does have to say power. <laughs> she hates when people park in front of her house. Do you remember that? Yeah. When there were the three of us were here, and she made all three of us move her car, then she picked up her daughter and left. She made all, really, all of her, Maddie and I, move our cars and come to the house, then she just pulled forward her daughter down in the car and they left. To keep them from coming apart? Well, the, 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 the last shot decided magically that, oh, this is my belt, so I'll keep it. That carburetor's clean enough. <laughs> I have car cleaner if you want me to bring it. 
هذا من سنسل شعبي شكرا لك هذا هو 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 هذا Um, no here. It's like cover. <laughs> we bolted a 70 pound thing on here for no reason because there's an electric motor inside. So I'll show you the problem with the first. Pop that puppy on. Alright, alright. Crap, my standards are wired. Just black electric tape. Way to drag the chain through everything. Is that dog shit? No, he was. Really? That's probably the view. <laughs> Some future first person. Yeah. I have a chest mount. I know. Okay. So now, <sighs> find out the thing is. Do you feel one? No, that's a uh, foam filler. Yeah. Does it change there? It never goes anywhere. It always just sits there. Well, don't give a shit. <laughs> that sprocket is it? Or the little sprocket in there? So does the brake just lock it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Bye, Lucifer. <laughs> that's the dog shit. It's a lot bigger too. Shane. Shane. Hey, also, uh, Trevor decided to take one of the CT70s in as his own. Uh, made a lot of progress on this one, as you can see, all that stuff. And uh, Trevor's is back here. There we go. Paint the inside of it. Then he's gonna paint the outside orange, black, red, whatever, same shit. Kind of going for like a 90s look. There's just one arm. Keep that one black. But yeah, uh, not too much going on. Gotta put an exhaust on this one. Put some oil in it because she's dry. Look up a gas tank, figure out how to get these foot pegs on there, then take her for a rip. So, uh, we'll figure all that shit out. Let you know. All right, boys, we got the series. Product tape going on here. Turn down the other CT70 so that we can put the paint on it and restore it so that we both, you know, rip around on CT70, judge it right off, whatever. Paint it red, doing some cool 90 stickers on it. Uh, keep us, keep us swing our black. Um, Joseph Allen's magic will be here pretty soon, so that's exciting. Um, there's my dog. Hey, Cosmo. Anywho, um, so we're gonna wipe down the body and then paint it. Alrighty, so we kind of put down a, a shit coat just to kind of cover up all the red. We just found some scrap red lying around. Real red is somewhere else. Um, but yeah, we just kind of did to cover up all the blue so we wouldn't have to waste our finished paint on masking all the blue. So yeah, um, we'll come back down here and dry, let it dry after it dries and uh, put on another coat of good paint and uh, we'll see how it looks. Down the first coat of paint on it. It's much brighter red as you can tell. It's cleaner. Looks pretty good. We sanded the baby down. Made it all pretty smooth. There's still some rough dents. You can kind of see in there. But yeah, she looks pretty pretty right now. We might do two or three more coats in them.